<laughs> Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jewel, I play Ecstasy in the party. And I'm Zach, and I play York in the party. And I'm Allie, and I play the coach in the party. And today we're gonna do something so brave, which is to re-watch uh, Allie's episode of the party together. <laughs> <laughs> Some deluxe Blu-ray commentary kind of shit exactly. that we're getting yeah. ready here. You wanted a Blu-ray? Mm-hmm. This we're, is YouTube. We're dropping this for free on YouTube. You should have been. YouTube Blu-ray. <laughs> Welcome to Limbo, where you are but a formless thought in the interim, waiting to be shaped by my tutelage. So I did not get this line right um, <laughs> for a number of takes. And you just had to keep going. Welcome to Inter- Fuck! <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. I will get it, I will get it. Um, <laughs> my brain was actual mush this day. But we got there eventually. I yeah. mean, you also, like, this was the first thing I think- It was first shot got. of the day. Yeah, yeah, this was first shot of the day. So everyone's looking at you. <laughs> all fucking five, six of us who have all, like, had our fun little- We've been shooting together for two weeks. We're like, a unit. Ah. It's just like, what's up, guys? <laughs> and then you have to stand on the stairs and deliver a monologue for us. I will say, this is, like- I really loved, obviously, all the hair and makeup people that we worked with, but right before the shot, someone came up and sprayed this section of my hair in, like, brown spray paint. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is not a lie. This is not, this is not a lie. And I, she, I don't remember what she said, but she said some, like, nice thing. I don't know what she said. And then I was like... That was dyed pigment, and then I was like, "Am I balding?" And then we we're like, "All right, let's let's get this day started." I got home and they just had so many hand beers, being like, "Okay, well, if the light is like this, like, oh my god, Wait. very funny, That's insane." What? what? You, your back, your head isn't even featured. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. We will resurrect the spontaneity of Commedia <laughs> d'arte against our own modern impulses to seclude ourselves against any authentic experiences with our fellow man or woman or they them. That was that was that was ad libbed, right? That was yeah, yeah. That was well, I was trying thing. to capture the uh, the. Let's see, anxiety that people look at me with when they say <laughs> his or her, and yeah. then they go. Or they. <laughs> it was great. Man or woman or person? <laughs> like, cool. So you could have just said person from the start. You wouldn't have to do any of that. Uh, also, that whole monologue about having to fight against our impulses to seclude ourselves from the fellow man. At the time, I thought, haha, hilarious, silly, improv monologue. And then after rewatching this, I was like, yeah. <laughs> we, we do need to fight against our impulse to wow. seclude ourselves. I'm glad you drank the Kool-Aid that I, I provided. Am, I am drinking the Kool-Aid. Would you like to buy a hoodie, actually? <laughs> As York is convincing the party that we want we should do this improv class. The improv coach is just standing there going, going yeah. This, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know his name. <laughs> I'm just like, that's right. You guys are definitely going to pay me in Venmo after this. And that, like, I do feel like were this to happen in real life, like if, so if I hired an improv coach to help my D&D &D party do improv and I started delivering a monologue to them, the improv coach would be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm on board. I knew yeah, what this totally. was about. <laughs> yeah, right. I understood. I would have mean. immediately taken out my phone and found somewhere to sit and been like, they really need to figure this out. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, uh, I'm kind of going for 100% participation here. Get used to disappointment. Yeah. You tried to make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, you literally said, I'm trying to be you. <laughs> well, it's too much power to be like, whatever you do, the person across from you will do, and we have to deliver a line. So I just started doing a really lame raise the roof, <laughs> and then we were both just like... <sighs> <laughs> I want you to be 
need the bacon. You come from a pig who subsisted on nothing but truffles and love. I have used this prior to, to when we shot this. Wow. Just being like, be bacon. I only know it from Dazed and Confused, where Parker <laughs> Posey is making all the cheerleaders who are rushing <laughs> pretend that they're bacon, and she's like covering them, I think, in ketchup and mustard. <laughs> that is a literal sexual route for me. <laughs> it's Parker Posey <laughs> covering people in ketchup and mustard and being like, fry, bitches. <laughs> like, I'm just like, okay. Okay, mean girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a slice of that? Just one slice. I can't hear you. Just one sl just one slice. Yeah, I'm actually done. Okay, how much of that pizza did you actually eat? Uh I and ultimately ate a lot of it. During the sh <laughs> during the shooting of this scene, almost none of it. Really? <laughs> almost none of it. Yeah, but I think what I kept doing was I kept picking up a fresh piece, oh, taking right. one bite out of it. Rearranging the pizza because I didn't know how much of the pizza could be seen. <laughs> so I was you like, never know what could be seen. That's why you need to spray paint the back of your head. <laughs> I'm just so glad that you finally put a pause on your attempts to unionize so we can focus on what really matters. Starting our family. He looked benzoed out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, we're so glad that you stopped your efforts at unionizing so that we could focus on our family. Yeah. yeah, this is an anti-union show. This is yep. an anti-union show. This is not dissimilar to coaching indie teams, though, where you're just like, <laughs> okay, like, okay, what are you guys saying? Okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you do have a very realistic moment where you are literally sitting like this, and then they say, okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's get the next three up. My point of reference for that for that accent right there was the 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 Godfather Shrew from Zootopia? Oh <laughs> my God! Oh my uh, God. I forgot this was supposed to be a New York accent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To That's say. what it was so scripted I, as. So you did nail it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Intro improv is so funny, and the, I did the same thing. But like, you're you're so nervous, and you're so trying to keep track of so much stuff that you just go to like. Um, lowest common denominator mm -hmm. theme, so you do end up in so much like sexist shit, like where it's just kind of like, and I love my wife and anything for my husband. And then you're just kind of like, as the coach there to be like, okay, like let's, <laughs> let's do something with, you know. <laughs> Nabila sang You Are My Sunshine. Uh -huh in just like a very slow, sad, like she was just staring directly at camera and you could see tears welling as she was just going, please don't take No. My son no. Away. Is this the way that she gets into and crying every time? And she fully started like tearing up and they were just welling and going down and then she was like, okay, I'm ready. And I went, wow. What? Oh my God. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the way people, I took a like sound and movement class at UCLA Extension and she taught us like breath work mm -hmm. and your body is physically doing the same thing when you're laughing and crying and like sobbing. Yeah. So like some, you can laugh until you start crying mm -hmm. and there are like, he like not healthier ways, but less traumatic ways, not that singing You Are My Sunshine is traumatic, maybe it's joyful, <laughs> but some people have to go like super yeah. dark and be like, now I can cry. But Another, you can also just like start laughing and, and you, like, can, yeah. you can make your body do the thing and then your tears will follow, but yeah, yeah crazy. I think I've done that in a clown workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I started crying and the, the clown teacher was like, you know, when you cry, you start wiping and the clown teacher was like, don't wipe your face. Oh my god, that's what my fucking therapist does. <laughs> really? Yes. She's like, you wiping away the tears is like you not allowing yourself to have like a sad moment. You're like, I have to always have myself together. But it's so fucking annoying because I'm not <laughs> consciously being like, I'm not allowed to have this. I'm just like, it's itchy. <laughs> like, I'm like, I want this wetness off of my face, Liz. <laughs> this is a Liz call Liz? out. Yeah. And I know Liz is watching this right now. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is the first. This is this is the first time I've like shown my therapist something I have done. Because oh. it was such a big deal, and she was she said something like, "Because I, okay, I I was like I would never tell I never I'm like you don't care about this. You have other clients." <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, "You can share it with me if you want." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs>
So anyways, I think she's seen the show. Oh my gosh. June. Shout out June. <laughs> still, I still haven't sent Bridget mine. But oh my god, you know. June, Bridget, and Liz all sit down. Giant popcorn between the three of them. That's what we should be <laughs> yeah. filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who should be doing the react Therapist right now. Therapists react to the party. <laughs> but if you sign up, you do get a free hoodie. Think about it. All right, great job, Johan. I'm like, where are you? Well, you're just out. You're like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm I'm literally walking in front of you and everyone's gonna kinda have to follow me for a while. But I'm gonna make sure I'm a few steps ahead. When you had to make yourself cry, what did you think about? Um you know the movie Homeward Bound? Oh, I know exactly which movie I would use to make myself cry. Which um, one? The first, not the second, the first Rugrats movie. That's a scene where, spoiler alert, but the Rugrats. <laughs> the Rugrats. Oh, it's already starting. Oh my god. Whatever happens in this party stays in this party. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Yes. Thanks for um, making me laugh in every take. Yeah. Uh, let's watch this Transformers. Race. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mirage. Pete Davidson. Meet the new character. Pete Davidson's in the new. A new Transformers. There's a what? new Transformers. Dill is crying in the forest because he's super stressed because everybody's fighting. Dill the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> And Tommy, his older brother, is supposed to love and care about him unconditionally, <gasps> screams at Dill and says, he has baby food. He says, you like these bananas? 